In this video, I'm going to show you how So Not Gucci ran the best defense that I've seen so far in the MCS. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you've never been to the channel before, what I do on YouTube is I basically do Madden 21 tips and tricks. We do videos like this that are designed to help you get better um, on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. And really what we've been trying to do over the last couple of weeks is a couple of different types of videos, some short ones, but also we do videos like this that are about five to ten minutes long that are going to give you kind of a setup or a concept that you might be uh, interested in applying and typically we've been breaking down some pro players as well with the MCS and the club championship so one of my favorite one of the guys that I thought really performed really really well last night was so not Gucci the Saints club champion um, especially with this this game right here when he was able to defeat Manu I felt like he really really showed you know one of the reasons why he's such an effective and such a good player so a couple of things I wanted to share with you first and foremost is if you want to get the exact defense that he was using a very, very similar version of that um, I wrote an ebook on the nickel 335 wide defense now if you've never if you've never um heard of the nickel 335 wide defense you probably haven't been watching a ton of competitive madden because literally every mcs pro right now is pretty much running this defense it's by far um the best defense in the game and so i wrote an ebook on it probably about a month and a half ago and if you want to get the full defense, the link is in the description of this video. If you want to get a sample to it, it's actually in my text message membership. We're going to break down some of Sonat Gucci's setups here for you. Um, but really, what one thing real quick before we dive too far into that is if you notice, if you look at his corners right now, you see that they have these little superstar X-Factors underneath them. And what he is doing is he is running with um, several one-step-ahead abilities on his defense. That's one. Of, that's kind of the meta right now is to run man-to-man -man coverage with one step ahead. Um, that definitely does make it very difficult to move the ball up the field. And I would actually recommend doing that as well, um, either running one step ahead. I personally like to run acrobats because I don't run as much man coverage. But if you run acrobats on your zones, they will react a lot better to different routes and things like that. So... Without further ado, let's jump into kind of the primary way that he was running his defense and what you can learn from it. So I'm going to pause this and jump right over here into gameplay and share with you kind of a couple of setups in particular that I thought he was using that was really, really good. Now, he was running the 46 playbook, which if I were you and I was running this defense, I would recommend that. But real quick, auto flip is going to be on, auto alignment set to default, ball in air defense to play ball, option defense is going to be on conservative, and then these right here, you can kind of do a couple different things, but what I like to do in general is just put the curl flats to 25. I think that's the best way to do it. Um, and then here, what we're going to do is we're going to put our best pass rushers in at the outside positions, and then we're going to essentially put corners everywhere. So we want as many corners on the field as we can possibly get. So what we're going to do is we're going to sub corners in at safety, and then the next little trick of this is we want to make sure that we're putting safeties um, here at these positions. I would personally highly recommend if you're using the Bucks, you could leave Levante David out there because he does have Lurker. But I honestly would rather just use a safety too. And I know that not everybody would agree with that, but that's what I would recommend. And then the uh, the what we're going to do is in the nickel 335, we're going to set the cover two man, the Mike Blitz O, the Tampa 2, and the Mike Blitz 3 as our audibles. And then we can come out in any play that we want to out of the nickel 335. And I'm going to just come out and probably trips, if I have trips tied in, do I have it? Yeah, I think I have it right over here. Okay, perfect. So um, this is trips tied in versus this defense. And this is kind of the, the you know the, the primary thing that you saw in the MCS. Now, Gucci primarily would either run Mike Blitz O or he would run cover two man. I mean, almost pretty much verbatim, right? Just like that. Now, the one thing that he did that I thought was really interesting. So if you look at this setup right here, right? This is kind of what you've got. You know what I would do? Um, and, and, and this is just something that you could easily do here. But essentially, we're going to run a three-man pressure. So what we're going to do is we're going to man up that outside linebacker, or not outside linebacker, I'm sorry, that defensive end on the right, who should be a linebacker. We're going to man him up onto the running back. And then the only other thing we're going to do is we're going to shade coverage down, and we're going to shade coverage inside so that we can take care of crossing routes and things like that. And what you'll find here is this is one of the most popular defenses in the game, but it does a really, really good job. One of Manu's favorite setups was this X spot play. It's one of the most popular setups from all of Trips Tight End. And what you'll notice is this defense does a really, really good job against it because your user is primarily going to be in the middle of the field and you're going to be able to basically lurk on everything that comes over the middle of the field. 
So this was kind of his primary coverage setup, and I'll show it to you one more time. All you're doing is you're calling cover to man, you're spreading your line, you're crashing it out, and then from that point, you're just going to man up. If you're playing trips tight end, you're going to man up the... Essentially, you're either going to man up the defensive end on the right, or you're going to man up the linebacker on the left, whichever, right? You're going to man one of those blitzing guys up on the running back, and whoever has the best alignment is what I like to do. Another thing that you could do, another little trick that I think actually works really well, especially against trips tight end, especially if you wanted to keep that safety deep, you could you could take your um, you you could take like this linebacker right here, and you could man him up on circle. And then you could you could man up this guy on the running back and look at this right here, and then you could basically base align it. Um, you could do that as well. That's another option, another way to kind of play uh, if you wanted to. You could do something just like this, and this is a fairly decent coverage as well. You're still going to get the jams on the trips tight end, um, and I think I actually think base aligning against trips tight end is something that people should do more. That's not what Gucci was doing in this game. He was actually um, he was actually going ahead and just leaving the alignment on default, and then he would basically man this guy up with the with the play side linebacker or whoever right another thing you could do is you could um you could just use that blitzing blitzing linebacker and the reason why you would want to use the blitzing linebacker um is because he's a safety that's the only real reason but you see here good man coverage and as you can see now when you send three versus when you send two you actually notice a big difference this year so gucci was actually sending a lot of three-man pressures now the next defense that i want to share with you is actually very similar to this um it's the Mike Blitz O. Now, once they start to notice that you're always having a safety over top, always having a safety over top, you could go to something like this right here. And what I really like about this defense right here is that it is really, really difficult to uh, get the ball out quick. So literally all you're going to do, your setup is to spread your line. You're going to Mike Blitz O. All you've done is you've pressed coverage, you spread your line, you crash it out, and then you're going to stand kind of right here with your user, right behind the nose tackle. And at the snap of the ball, you're just going to run down for just a second, and then you're going to go card, guard the running back. And then I like to lurk back over the middle. So right there, go that way, and then come back over. And you're going to get pretty good pressure. Now, the longer that you run down with your user, the better the pressure is going to be. So let me show you that one more time. Mike Blitz O, spread line, crash out, that's it. And then it's set up. You heard Gucci talk about his adjustments were really effective. That's because he had time to make adjustments. This defense gives you time to make adjustments, which is really, really important when you're trying to, um, you know, basically stop some of the best offenses of the game. You need time to be able to do that. And so this, this defense in particular, I like to go ahead and shade coverage over top. A lot of people still like to shade underneath on this, but when I run this, I personally would recommend you shade the coverage over top. Another thing you could do is you could run the same setup, but then you could do other adjustments as well. You could do something like this, um, you know, where you're, you know, playing, essentially you're playing cover two on one side of the field, and then on the other side of the field, you're playing cover zero. And this is actually a fairly decent setup, especially because um, there's just not a lot of, um, there's not a lot of routes out of trips that's going to super, super crush it unless they motion somebody over. And then if they were motioning somebody over, you could basically go in and do that. So all in all, this 3 5 is the best defense in the game. It's the easiest one to run. It's the easiest one to adjust out of, in my opinion. Um, and that's why you see a lot of the MCS pros running this defense at a very, very high uh, clip and a very, very high level because it just gives you everything that you need to be effective. It also has great run defense out of it. So if you want to get my full copy of the Nickel 335 Wide Defensive eBook, that link is in the description. And if you want to get a sample, we've got about a 56-minute preview video of it that is kind of a sample to kind of show you what to expect. That is in my text message membership playlist, which you can text me for that. All you got to do is send me a text. My phone number is 812. 216-3644. It's also in the description of this video. Just let me know that you're looking for the Nickel 335 wide stuff, and I'll shoot you some links for that. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you want to come by tonight's live stream, we'll be streaming at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time this evening. Um, but other than that, that's all I've got for you. Make sure to shoot me a text, and if you're interested in that ebook, it is in the description of this video. It shows you the entire defense and everything that you need to know about how to completely bag some of the most popular offenses in Madden 21.